Hello, I'm Danielle and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a simple recipe you can use that can be the base or the foundation for all your holiday cooking this year. Welcome to another episode of Red Couch Chronicles. I'm Danielle. All right, my single ladies, I know for the past few months, I have been grilling in you what it takes to become a virtuous woman, how to start a relationship, how to prepare for a relationship, how to get ready for a relationship spiritually and mentally. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you, and for the next few episodes, I plan to be sharing with you how you can get ready, literally, for relationship in the kitchen, whether that is preparing meals, whether that is being hospitable or preparing to cater to family and friends as they stop over. This is what I plan to do for the rest of the month as we prepare for the holidays that are currently upon us. And so today, we are going to start with a simple recipe of how to make sofrito. And what sofrito is, is simply this, a foundation for all of your cooking. And the word sofrito literally means to fry before. So if you're making rices with your sofrito, you stir that up, you cook that off before you put your rice in it, there you have seasoned rice. If you are seasoning your meats um, or your stews with it, you fry that up, that becomes a foundation of your pot, and then you put your meats to continue to make your stew. If you're making fish, if you're making um, baked uh, meats or anything, this is a foundation, what I'm gonna share with you today, of your cooking and so no I'm not telling you to put it in everything but you can pick and choose what things you would like to put in your meals as you begin to cook this holiday season and so today for sofrito very simply and I will put this recipe in the um what is that section description, description section below thank you my producer <laughs> so that you can have it and very quickly what you need for this recipe are an assortment of bell peppers whether it is your oranges your reds your greens your yellows um, I literally use in mine three onions three sweet onions and one red onion I use and I will be using today four stalks of celery which I'm gonna get ready to show you in a little bit I'm gonna be using two heads of a seasoning or um, a herb called culantro that's that is what really gives you the taste of the sofrito and I'm gonna be using two heads of garlic and so as you can see here on my lovely cornucopia these are all the vegetables that I'm gonna be using to put together to make my sofrito so a very simple process I'm going to be using today to make this in simple batches and I am going to be using my handy dandy Nutribullet bullet and I'm gonna <laughs> my daughter is just off camera laughing at me for what reason I don't know all right, so what I'm about to do is break down these vegetables even more. I went ahead and I prepared them and cleaned them before filming, so I didn't have much to do on camera. So all I'm doing now is just breaking them down even a little bit more so that when I put them in my Nutribullet, I'll be able to get a smoother puree faster than if I had just put them in whole. And usually, some people will use their blender to get this done. Some people would use maybe even a fruit processor. But for my purposes, I like to use the Nutribullet because it purees even faster and you get a finer puree than you would if you were to use a blender. And so now I'm going to hand this off to my assistant who is slightly off camera to put a little bit of water in that container for me and that water will help to give the Nutribullet the momentum it needs to start 
the puree. Okay. Like I said, it did not take long. And you can see from the consistency that that is a smooth puree. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pour it into a container that I have been using for peppers that I have already pureed. And I'm just gonna pour it in here. And what's gonna happen by the time we come back, or rather, by the time we're finished pureeing all of these vegetables, I will have one large container of everything, and then I'll be able to mix it together and section it out so that if I want, I can give some away, which I usually do. Maybe I can freeze some into ice cubes, or I can just use this as a liquid, store it in my fridge, and keep it until I am ready to make my stews and my seasoned rice. Now, I'm gonna come back. I am going to puree the rest of the stuff that you see here, the culantro, the sweet onions, the red onion, a little bit more celery, and personally for me, I like to put one shot of habanero pepper in my sofrito just to give it a little extra kick. So here we have everything that we have pureed together. I kind of underestimated the yield we would have gotten from the selection of vegetables that we use. So what I'm going to do just to make sure that everything is melded together and married well together, I am going to pour them out into this stainless steel mixing bowl. I'm going to mix it all together. You can see your greens, you can see your yellows, your reds, everything that we put in there. And just to make sure that everything is evenly spread out, I'm gonna just mix this up to make sure everything is married well together. That one batch isn't tasting too much of onions and the other batch tasting too much of garlic or the other batch having too much culantro. And I realized with this, uh, when I make this usually, it comes out a little more green. If you can see, it is kind of light green. But when I make it, usually it is darker, and I know exactly what happened. Um, I had more green onions to um, put in this sofrito mixture however while preparing for this video i bought them a couple of days ago i did not store them properly i guess as i should or maybe they were already on their way going bad and so i didn't think them fit enough to use for um, this batch and so they just did not make it and so it is a lighter color usually than what is expected but now that everything is melded together what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pour them back out in these containers that I placed them in. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. It is amazing. Here is another batch. I'm gonna just set this into my sink. I will cover it. Now they're not quite even, but what I will do is I will keep this one out and this will be our go-to for the next couple of weeks as we cook and as we prepare. And this one I will put in my deep freeze. And what I'll do is I will put the date that I started storing this on the lid of this container so that I will know when it was that this went into the freezer. There you have it, ladies. With a few simple ingredients, a few minor kitchen gadgets, and here you have a delicious foundation for all of your cooking into this holiday season and beyond. Listen, as the saying goes, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And I promise you, I'm gonna get you guys ready, or rather, you girls ready. Not as the world says to get ready, but as the word says to get ready. And I'm gonna make Proverbs 31 woman out of you yet. Thank you for watching.